The internet is often referred to as the network of networks, where every day billions of data packages travel through cables to reach worldwide destinations, carrying information from a variety of services of many different types. To better understand the nature of the network neutrality challenge, let us use a common analogy, the highway system. And let us go back several decades when there were only a few basic types of vehicle, that is, data packages, on the roads. With the growing number of users and the advances in technology, the traffic continued to grow, with many different types of data package showing up, stimulating innovation and creating new opportunities, but also threatening traffic jams with bottlenecks and road congestion. The engineers, with the support of businesses, found a solution by building more and larger roads. However, with more roads, more data packages emerge, including heavy ones and high-priority ones, that need to reach their destination immediately, or almost in real time, culminating in the appearance of huge peer-to-peer -peer data packages, adding to even further congestion and long travel times and delays, what is often called latency. Mindful of assuring a good quality of service to all users, yet not seeing incentives to build even more roads, the road keepers, the internet service providers, have decided to introduce network management to prioritize traffic. Prioritizing data packages does improve the traffic flow, assuring the quality of the service, but it also raises concerns among the users. What if Internet service providers decide to prioritize certain data packages for their own interests, thus introducing anti-competitive practices? What if the end users are suddenly banned from accessing certain content, services or applications? What if the providers limit the consumer's choices and only provide access to certain offers? For an open Internet, End users should have the right to access the content, services and applications of their choice. How to establish key principles for equal access and key requirements for maintaining a functional net. Network management might be appropriate for assuring a good quality of service or assuring the security of the network. Is network management also appropriate for fighting illegal or objectionable content, or for creating new economic models that would encourage investments and lower prices, while not endangering access and innovation. To ensure that management practices are appropriate, reasonable and non-discriminatory, certain principles for network neutrality should be considered. Transparency regarding the capacity, the quality and the terms and practices for a service offered. No discrimination based on the sender or receiver of information. Unrestricted access to content and its use and to the services, applications, hardware and software of the user's choice. To define and implement cooperatively the principles of network neutrality an open, multi-stakeholder dialogue is needed, allowing regulators to act only as safeguards.